For decades the concept of bulking has been ingrained in the minds of aspiring bodybuilders and fitness enthusiasts. The idea is simple. Consume a massive caloric surplus to fuel rapid muscle growth, even if it means gaining some fat along the way. This traditional approach, however, is being challenged by new research and a growing understanding of the body's intricate mechanisms. The latest scientific findings suggest that excessive bulking may not be the most efficient or healthy way to build muscle. While a calorie surplus is undoubtedly necessary for hypertrophy, the extent of this surplus can significantly impact body composition and overall well-being. This essay delves into the science behind muscle growth, exploring the limitations of traditional bulking and presenting a more nuanced approach to maximizing muscle gains while minimizing unwanted fat accumulation. We will examine the relationship between caloric intake, muscle protein synthesis, and fat storage, shedding light on the optimal strategies for achieving a lean and muscular physique. By understanding the concept of permabulk and its practicality, we can move away from extreme cycles of bulking and cutting towards a more sustainable and health-conscious approach to muscle building. Prepare to rethink your muscle building strategies as we unpack the latest research and explore the future of physique enhancement. Building muscle requires a positive energy balance, meaning you need to consume more calories than you burn. This surplus provides the energy and building blocks necessary for muscle protein synthesis, the process by which your body repairs and builds new muscle tissue. However, the relationship between calorie surplus and muscle gain is not linear. While some surplus is essential, exceeding a certain threshold does not necessarily translate to proportionally greater muscle growth. This is because the body has a finite capacity for muscle protein synthesis. Beyond a certain point, excess calories are more likely to be stored as fat rather than contributing to additional muscle mass. Therefore, the key is to find the sweet spot, a calorie surplus that maximizes muscle protein synthesis without leading to excessive fat gain. This optimal surplus varies depending on individual factors such as training experience, genetics, and activity levels. Determining your ideal intake involves careful monitoring of your progress, adjusting calorie intake based on changes in body composition and training performance. The concept of permabulk has gained traction in recent years, particularly among those seeking a more sustainable approach to building muscle. Permabulking involves maintaining a slight calorie surplus year-round, aiming to gradually increase muscle mass while minimizing fat gain. This approach contrasts with traditional bulking cycles, which often involve alternating periods of aggressive calorie surplus, followed by periods of calorie restriction, cutting, to shed excess fat. While the idea of continuous muscle growth without significant fat gain sounds appealing, the practicality of permabulk is debatable. Maintaining a consistent calorie surplus, even a small one, can gradually lead to fat accumulation over time, especially if training intensity or activity levels fluctuate. Additionally, individuals may have different body fat set points, making it challenging to maintain a desired level of leanness while consistently gaining muscle. Furthermore, permabulk may not be suitable for everyone, particularly those with a higher propensity for fat gain or those seeking more significant physique transformations within a specific time frame. In such cases, strategic periods of calorie restriction may be necessary to achieve desired body composition goals. Determining your ideal calorie intake for muscle growth without excessive bulk requires a personalized approach. A good starting point is to calculate your basal metabolic rate, BMR, which is the number of calories your body burns at rest. This can be estimated using various online calculators or through more precise methods such as indirect calorimetry. Once you have your BMR, you need to factor in your activity level. Multiply your BMR by an activity factor ranging from 1.2 for sedentary individuals to 1.9 for highly active individuals. This gives you an estimate of your daily calorie expenditure. To create a surplus for muscle growth, aim to consume an additional 200 to 500 calories per day above your maintenance level. However, it's crucial to monitor your progress and adjust your intake accordingly. If you're gaining weight too quickly or noticing significant fat gain, slightly reduce your calorie intake. Conversely, if your weight remains stagnant or you're not seeing desired muscle growth, consider increasing your calorie intake or adjusting your macronutrient ratios. The pursuit of muscle growth should not come at the expense of overall health and well-being. While there's a common misconception that bigger is always better, 
it's vital to recognize that body weight is just one metric among many that contribute to a healthy and functional physique. Focusing solely on scale weight can be misleading, as it doesn't differentiate between muscle mass, fat mass, bone density, and other factors that influence body composition. Instead of obsessing over a specific number on the scale, prioritize building a balanced physique with a healthy ratio of muscle to fat. This involves considering not only aesthetics but also factors such as cardiovascular health, metabolic function, and mobility. Maintaining a healthy body fat percentage is crucial for hormonal balance, insulin sensitivity, and reducing the risk of chronic diseases. The concept of a body fat set point suggests that our bodies have a genetically predetermined range of body fat that it tries to maintain. This set point is influenced by various factors, including genetics, hormones, and lifestyle choices. While we can deviate from our set point through diet and exercise, our bodies tend to resist significant and sustained changes in body fat levels. This inherent tendency to maintain a certain level of body fat can make it challenging to achieve drastic physique transformations. For example, individuals with a naturally higher body fat set point may find it more difficult to achieve very low levels of body fat, while those with a lower set point may struggle to gain significant amounts of muscle mass. Understanding your body fat set point can help you set realistic expectations and develop sustainable strategies for managing your weight and body composition. While it's possible to shift your set point over time through consistent lifestyle changes, it's crucial to approach body recomposition with patience and a focus on long-term health rather than quick fixes. While aiming for continuous muscle growth with minimal fat gain is ideal, there are times when strategic periods of calorie restriction or cutting may be necessary to achieve specific body composition goals. This is particularly relevant for individuals preparing for physique competitions, photo shoots, or simply seeking to reduce body fat to a desired level. The key is to approach cutting phases strategically to minimize muscle loss while maximizing fat loss. This involves maintaining a moderate calorie deficit, typically around 250 to 500 calories below maintenance, while continuing to train intensely and consume adequate protein to preserve muscle mass. Furthermore, incorporating cardio and optimizing training variables such as volume, intensity, and frequency can help enhance fat loss while preserving muscle. It's essential to remember that cutting phases should be temporary and followed by periods of calorie surplus to support continued muscle growth. Recent research has shed new light on the complexities of muscle growth and body composition, challenging traditional notions and paving the way for more sophisticated training and nutrition strategies. Studies are increasingly focusing on individual responses to training and nutrition, recognizing that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to maximizing muscle growth. For instance, research on nutrient timing suggests that consuming protein strategically around workouts may enhance muscle protein synthesis and recovery. Moreover, investigations into the role of various supplements, such as creatine and beta-alanine, are providing insights into their potential to augment training adaptations and promote muscle growth. Additionally, advancements in body composition assessment techniques, such as DEXA scans and bioelectrical impedance analysis, are providing more accurate and detailed insights into body fat percentage, muscle mass, and other relevant metrics. These tools enable individuals to track their progress more effectively and make data-driven adjustments to their training and nutrition plans. As we delve deeper into the science of muscle growth and body composition, it's becoming increasingly clear that traditional bulking methods may not be the most efficient or sustainable approach for everyone. While a calorie surplus is undeniably necessary for muscle growth, the extent of this surplus and the strategies employed can significantly impact long-term success. Rather than blindly adhering to dogma, it's essential to adopt a more individualized and nuanced approach to muscle building, taking into account personal preferences, goals, and responses to training and nutrition. This involves finding your ideal calorie intake for muscle growth without excessive bulk, understanding your body fat set point, and strategically balancing mass gains and cuts. Moreover, staying abreast of the latest research and incorporating evidence-based practices into your training and nutrition plan can give you a significant edge in achieving your physique goals. Remember, building a lean and muscular physique is a journey, not a sprint. 
and prioritizing long-term health and sustainability should be paramount. The quest for muscle growth is an ongoing evolution, driven by scientific discoveries, technological advancements, and a deeper understanding of the human body. As we move beyond the simplistic paradigm of traditional bulking, we embrace a more nuanced and individualized approach to physique enhancement. This entails finding the optimal calorie surplus for muscle growth without excessive fat gain, recognizing the role of body fat set points, and strategically balancing periods of mass gain and calorie restriction. Furthermore, incorporating the latest research findings into our training and nutrition strategies allows us to optimize our efforts and achieve sustainable results. The future of muscle building lies in embracing a smarter, more strategic approach that prioritizes both aesthetic goals and overall well-being. By understanding the intricacies of our bodies and harnessing the power of scientific knowledge, we can unlock our true potential and sculpt physiques that are not only impressive but also healthy and sustainable.